It's crunch time here on The Jump. Brian Windhorst, Russell Westbrook, left a tip for the Disney hotel staff that, according to a Dallas Morning News report, amounted to $8,000. What was your reaction to that? Well, I have to say, the pressure is now on the Heat and Lakers. After they heard that, <laughs> you guys better go into that wallet. Uh, Jimmy Butler, we've seen the commercial with the guy straightening his beers in the uh, in the fridge and making him towel animals. Um, no, I think it's tremendous. Congratulations to Russ and those folks have earned it. They've put uh, so much on their on the line, and I, I'm sure other NBA players have been generous as well. Forget pressure on the Heat or Lakers. Richard Jefferson, ex NBA player slash current. I, look, I'm just gonna say this, like. I have so much respect for everybody now that I've been here, everything that has gone on, but I haven't had any swans made out of towels. So, mm. I, I'm, you know, I just, mm. just saying. Drew Holiday named the Twyman Stokes Teammate of the Year. The award recognizes the player, quote, deemed to be the best teammate based on selfless play, on and off court leadership as a mentor or role model to other NBA players and commitment and dedication to the team. Shout out Drew Holiday. Scotty, how impressed are you by Drew Holiday and what kind of teammate he appears to be for those Pelicans guys? I was I was very happy, very impressed with his leadership. Uh, Anthony Davis came in and you know that trade, he, he got a, a bucket load of new players, but his, his leadership and his ability to make that team exciting this year, Looking forward to uh, seeing him in a full season with Zion and Ingram. It should be exciting. One of the highest character players in the league, and I also want to remind everybody he donated his salary during the bubble to charity. Absolutely. Yeah. As, awesome. as, no. Well, there's a reason why he's up in trade rumors every single year. It's because Everybody lots of teams want him. Yes. And <laughs> we're not going to – look, I'm not going to say anything about having him having two brothers to help him get some more votes. Are but you, he is definitely deserving of that. Come on, Richard. I'm just kidding. Come on. Truth is, truth is uh, he is not the only player in the NBA with two brothers also in the NBA who could have voted, and he still won. That's just fair. Thing. All right, Alvin Gentry joining the Sacramento Kings as an assistant head coach, associate head coach, which I believe means he is the lead head coach. Richard, is that good or bad for your friend Luke Walton? I think this is great. Uh, you know, Luke had a great relationship with him in Golden State. He's been a head coach in multiple places. And I think, look, the Sacramento Kings – I, I love my guy, Luke, but they have issues. They have issues. They need talent. You're not going to win without talent. They had a good team a little bit ago, a little bit ago. Yeah, uh, but ultimately, um, what I really, really feel with the Sacramento Kings is that they need to get some more talent. They need to develop the guys that they have in there. Two things I'm going to say. Number one, Luke Walton's seat is hot without question, but Alvin Gentry and he worked together in Golden State, so this is a comfortable situation, but remember, there's been a GM change. There'll be other changes there as well. I, I think this is a great move. We saw what Alvin Gentry's been able to do with young players like he did in New Orleans, so I think this is exciting for the young players. Yeah, and look, I think also it is a show of strength for Luke Walton. Obviously, yeah. Alvin Gentry's not getting hired, everybody, unless Luke Walton wanted him to be hired. Yeah. It's not like this was done behind Luke's back. So they were very close in Golden State. The fact that he is comfortable with having another former head coach on his coaching staff says good things about Luke. And by the way, we saw the same thing with Frank Vogel, where everybody was like, oh, Jason Kidd's on your staff. Lionel, best, Holland, Lionel Hollins is on your staff. staff. Possible. There you go. That's going to be a threat to you. And guess what? It turned out to be such a strength. So I wish the Sacramento Kings the best. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.